What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this little video today, we're going to learn how to create and display Windows notifications using Python. So let us get right into it. All right, now most tutorials out there focusing on Windows notifications in Python are based on a module called Win10 Toast. And this is a fine module. I have used it in one of my videos before as well. It was, I think, the countdown timer tutorial where I used it to tell the user that the time is uh, over now. But this module is quite limited when it comes to customization and it makes it hard to add some more action to the notifications like clicking a button to open a website, for example. And because of that, in today's video, I want to focus on a module called WinNotify, which has the same purpose, but it's more customizable and offers more functionality. And I think it's also newer, which is why maybe it's less known and less uh, supported, less uh, documentation uh, is available. But you can go to the GitHub page and find some code samples if you want to try to uh, the more new features in today's video, we're going to focus on the essentials, which is notifications and also some action in the notification. But for the sake of completeness here, I want to start by showing you some basic features of win 10 toast, just so you see how this works with a more commonly used library. And for that, of course, you need to install it. I'm not going to go through the process here in too much detail, because we're not going to focus on win 10 toast. But you would go pip install win 10 toast in a command line. And then you can just say from win 10 toast import and then toast notifier. And then you would just say toaster equals toast notifier, and then toaster show toast. And then uh, you would have a title, you would have a message and you would have uh, a duration, for example, two seconds. And that's essentially it. Now, if I run this, I hope my speakers are on. There you go, you can see title message, whatever. And we can also increase that to five. There you go. You can see that works. So this is just how it works with toast notifier. And yes, we can set some icons and all that. And yes, we can set it to threaded so that the code continues and so on. But I think again, when notify has more features. And because of that, we're going to open up a command line and say pip install win notify like that. And in my case, of course, it's already installed. And then once this is done, we can just say from win notify import notification and audio and audio is going to be important to set the sound of the notification. If we are interested in customizing that. Um, alternatively, we also have a notifier, which is a bit more complicated. I think there are some code samples in a GitHub repo, but there's no documentation, which is why I'm not showing the notifier class here. Um, and we're also going to need or we're going to make use of time probably. Let's see. So Let's start with a very simple notification. Let's say toast equals notification. And let's uh, set the app ID first. And the app ID is going to be neural nine script. Then we're going to choose a title. And the title is going to be message. Come on, message title. And then we're going to also have uh, the message itself, which is MSG. Hello world like that. And then we can also pick a duration. But here in this module, we can only say short or long. So if I now run this or actually, first of all, we need to say toast dot show. If I now run this, you can see here message title Hello world. So this works. Uh, we can also change this to long here. And you can see here, hello world, by the way, all these notifications are also available here in neural nine script, you can see it's, it comes from that application. Um, and what we can also do now is we can set an icon path. So we can say, okay, the icon has a certain uh, location. Now, one thing that's important here is that the icon, you cannot just go ahead and say I can equal some image dot PNG if it's in the same directory, you need the full path. Unfortunately, I don't know why I don't know if that can be fixed easily. Uh, but if you want to use a file in the same directory, you would have to use something like get the current working directory and all that, uh, which is why I chose to just use the desktop as a location. So it's C and then uh, users and then Flory and then uh, by the way, my name is Florian, not Flory, but Windows only allows for five characters. This is because a lot of people in the comment section ask if I'm if my name is Flory and if I'm from Albania because of that. I'm not from Albania. I'm from Austria. Um, however, see users Flory and then desktop and then 
uh, what was the image name? It was neural.png neural.png so you just pick an image you place it somewhere you specify the full path and now if i run this you can see here i have the neural nine logo um but we don't have any sound so if i want to add some sound to the notification what i can do is i can say uh toast dot set audio and then audio dot and then i have a bunch of things here for example i think the default um is just the basic notification sound and we can also set then loop equal to false and now you can hear the sound I, I hope you can hear the sound let me just turn up my speakers a little bit there you go I hope you can hear that um, and we can also of course change this to something like SMS which has its own sound on Windows as you can hear or for example maybe those of you who have Outlook or Thunderbird know the mail sound there you go. Or we can even be annoying and say looping alarm, for example, this would make sense for something like a countdown timer. Um, but I didn't know the module back then. Something like that. Kind of cool. Of course, I can end this and we can also have a looping call. And all sorts of things, right? So that's the basic idea. Now let's add some more functionality to this because sometimes and this is where win 10 toast is not so uh, so nice is we can also add some action buttons here. So let's say we want to add an action want to say something like neural nine script, um, important info, and then the messages learn coding and Python, or actually, that's the same thing like learn Python and um, machine learning, there you go. And then what we want to do is we want to add some action to that toast so that when someone clicks a button, uh, we can get this person to a nice resource. So toast uh, dot add actions is the command here is the function here. And the label is essentially what uh, the button text is. So we can say label equals and then we can say, um, learn or let's just say click me or something like that. And the action now the action is in this case, uh, a launch command and it's going to launch HTTPS and then neural nine.com. This is what we we'll want to do here. So right now, if I run this, you can see here important info, learn Python machine learning, click me if I click this, it opens up my web browser. Um, and it opens up neural9.com, which is a great resource, of course, for learning Python and machine learning. Um, so of course, now we can go ahead and combine all these things. Again, you can go to the GitHub page and try to figure out from the cryptic, um, from the cryptic scripts, how the notifier class works. I think this module is still in development. Um, I cannot judge because my vidstream module is still also basically uh, in in the early early alpha stage. But this is kind of cool module. And I hope it it will be developed more over time. And this is how you can do simple Windows notifications uh, in Python using WinNotify. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and